when I was about four years old, when I was um, at some Arsenal soccer school, I got taken there um, with quite a few other boys. And I remember I had quite a few training sessions there, I think two or three, and I trained really well and I got scouted by Fulham Development Centre. I went from Fulham to Leighton Orient, so it was a bit of a drop. It wasn't easy, just because it was a drop, it doesn't mean it was easy. Um, becoming a professional footballer is never easy. There's millions of kids out there that want to become a professional footballer, but only a few manage to, to do it. So growing up, obviously, you have to stay disciplined and stay focused on what you want to do. So that's what I did each year from under 13 until all the way through until I signed my first professional contract. Yeah, very proud. That was probably one of the proudest moments because that was my actual professional debut. I think it was Steven Nigel away. I was actually more excited than nervous because I remember I'd been on the bench quite a few times leading up to that. So it was just, I was quite excited to get on. I wasn't really, as a youngster, when you're on the bench, maybe the first or second time, you're a bit nervous. But because I'd been on the bench quite a few times, I was ready to go. I was obviously excited. I had a few teams interested in me, um, but I felt like Brighton was the right team for many reasons. Um, obviously, they'd just been promoted to the Premier League, which was a bonus, but I knew I was going to go into the under 23 setup, so I knew I had to work my way up either way. But yeah, just things like it was close to London, and um, yeah, I'd heard good things about the club, so I just thought, yeah, this is the club. I would say it was a good loan spell for me. I felt like I matured a lot because I had to live by myself. And that was, I was playing men's football, of course. I wasn't playing on the 23 football. Um, it got cut short because of a back injury. But leading up to that, I thought I was playing most games and I thought I was playing well. And it was quite a good experience for me. I remember before the game, I got told I was playing and I was just, I was a bit shocked actually. I'd been training with the first team, but um, leading up to the game, we hadn't been told anything about who was starting or anything. And on the day, I found out I was starting and I just, it just hit me. As soon as I found out, I told my whole family and I told some of my friends um, because the game was gonna be shown live on TV as well. So I told everyone just to tune in, but of course, proud moment and I remember I scored that game as well but it was offside um, but I remember when the ball hit the net I was just I was ready to, cel to celebrate but um, yeah very proud moment for me and my family yeah it's been four years now um, I feel like I've devel developed a lot as a player and as a person I've come through the under 23s and the jump from under 23s to first team is obviously a massive jump so once I got the opportunity to start getting the feel for the foot, like in and around the first team, it was nice to have that sort of faith from the manager. And since then, I've managed to like kick on. Um, the seasons have been a bit up and down for me in terms of game time, but I have to understand I'm still young and I'm still improving. So yeah, I've just got to keep pushing on and keep proving what I can do. Whenever I play, I do the most I can for the team and myself, and whenever the manager wants something from me, I try to do my best to do it. So the next step for me would be to try to get a consistent run of games in the Premier League, and hopefully I can do that soon. Now March, burns at the back post, across he goes, Alzate! Oh, Albion lead at Anfield, and it's Steven Alzate! Did it count as my goal in the end? Yeah, it did. <laughs> that night, the most important thing was the win. But of course, yeah, I'm obviously proud to have scored that goal. Doesn't matter how it went in, but it went in. That's what matters. Um, I think I started running before the ball had went in, because I think I saw it just go right into the corner. But yeah, I was just so excited. I was so excited that night. Can't describe it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot here. Um, I hope to stay here for many more years to come, uh, keep improving as a player, obviously as a person as well, but as a player, 
keep getting more game time and um, doing my thinking with Brighton. <laughs>